know is if you high right now Pull up to my crib and catch a vibe right now Grab my hand She said I don't understand Take you to the All right, you guys, we just pulled up, and oh my goodness. Oh, is that a largemouth bass right there? That is crazy. And wait, is there another fish out there? Bro, is there another fish? No way. A red, what is it? That's a red tail catfish? There's no way. Oh, that is so sick. Oh, look at this bass right here, you guys. Damn, yo, whose oh, pond yeah, is this? <laughs> oh, oh, check him out, check him out. You can pull out right there. Oh, there's no way. Uh, oh my goodness. Bro, whose pond is this? Hold on a second. What you got over here, bro? Yo, what you got right here? You got some... You about to feed this bass tilapia? Oh my god, there's no way. I gotta see this. Oh. No, Bro, this is bass. crazy. You guys <laughs> you got, got a pet bass. That's crazy. I'm this guy's chopping up. Yeah, he knows what time it is. Look at him. He's getting excited. <laughs> so, so what kind of fish is this that you're chopping up? Oh! No way. No. Whoa. Bro, I never seen a bass eat like fillets of tilapia from the Oh <laughs> crazy. Bro. Oh my gosh. This guy has a pet largemouth bass. Shirtless Dylan. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Crazy. Now, yeah. Placo. Now, Placo. Oh! He hangs out over here all the time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's crazy. You got some exotic species up in this little pond, man. What's next? <laughs> I'm doing actually a whole like bench around this whole thing with a cage. Where yeah. My cage is gonna be allowed to come out here. All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Extreme from Extreme Pond Stars. Today we have something pretty extreme. I mean, we got peacock bass. Wait, look on our shoulder. Look on our shoulder. Look. Look. Whoa, yo, come take a look at this. Oh. Oh. Dylan, how old is this thing? This is. It's about a year, three months, maybe four months. And it's a female, right? It's a female, black and white Argentine piggy. And of course, as you can see, they make terrific pets. She's just chilling and we're out in the sunshine and a lot of people know that reptiles act different in the house when they get out in the sun. They see things different so they act different. They're more jumpy and they're more, you know, trying to get away. But she's chilling. As you can see this Tegu has been worked with a lot. Thanks oh, to my boy. Shirtless Dylan. Shirtless Dylan. Peacock, peacock bass catches a lot of exotic species. So his link is going to be in the description down below. Definitely check out his channel and subscribe. Also, huge shout out to Shirley's Dylan. How's it going? How's that it going? pond that you just saw there that had a bunch of bass and pe and like the uh, what? What was it? Red tail catfish. Uh, red tail catfish and a largemouth bass. Damn. So that two. pond he built it with his own two hands. So yo, definitely give him a like, subscribe. Also, huge shout out to the iguana man for inviting us out here today. We're gonna be eating a tegu. So guys, you guys are seeing it right here. <laughs> Check it out, tegu right there, pet size. Unfortunately, a lot of people get these animals in the pet trade, but they don't understand how large they can get. Also, they require a big habitat, a lot of food. So what they do is they release them in the wild. That's where you guys have these wild tegus. They're eating native plants, eating, eating eggs, guys. Alligator eggs, crocodile eggs, owl eggs. Any animal that lays an egg, the, te the tegu will get it. So guys, in this pot, we have a giant tegu Ooh. that we caught in a trap. You guys can check my channel out to see that video. But guys, we got a fire right there. We got the tegu right here. 
She's we're gonna, like, whoa, wait, wait, wait. We're gonna move. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't no, close your oh, eyes. Close, close your eyes. Get her away. She, she's yeah. going to see this. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Iguana Man. This guy is the number one iguana catcher here in South Florida or even in the world. So if you haven't seen his videos, go check it out right now. No way. Yo, we are right behind Shirtless Dylan's house. And yo, there is a school of peacock bass right in there. And there's also a school of largemouth bass. And there's just so much babies there. Like, this is crazy. Oh my god, look at them. Oh, bro. There's massive fish blowing up right there. Can the iguana man get tight? Oh my god. He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. Oh. 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 Oh, he's gonna jump. Oh. Bro. Oh, oh my gosh. Yo, it's a big bass. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a monster. Oh, it's a, oh, it's oh. a giant. It's a baby giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Look at him. Oh, bro. Yo, oh, get him. Don't grab, lose him. Grab him. Don't lose him. Grab him. Oh, oh my gosh. Grab him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Let's go. Got Damn. <laughs> Jesus, what a bucket mouth. Oh my god. Yo. That's my old pond bass. Yo, For real? Old, bro. Oh my god. Throw him on the grill? Yo, turn back in your corner. Oh, come in the pond. Should we keep him as a pet or should we throw him on the grill? Let us know in the comments down below. Oh. He just, yo. He just creamed it, bro. He just creamed it. He munched it. Yo, that is a, that is a slob bass, yo. Hey Dylan, put it in your lake. Your pond. Put, you want to keep him? Bro, he's a nah? decent one. I already had it in my pond. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let him sleep. All right, guys. Bro, I did not, a catch, not expect to catch any largemouth bass today. And the iguana men. All right, y'all. So we just <laughs> caught this largemouth bass. Oh. What should we do with him? Should we throw him in the pond or should we throw him on the grill? We need answers, guys. Let us know we the need the answers down, right now. But guys, you guys seen the feeding frenzy? We threw the bait. He absolutely creamed it. So guys, we just caught this really fat bass. Let us know what to do with them in the comments down below. Wow. So you guys see what happened. The fish was blowing up. Anything is possible, guys. Sometimes you got to take advantage of the opportunity that life presents itself. Thank God there was fish right there. Fishing pole right there. It was nothing but a cast. Bada boom, bada bing. Got him in the bag. But luckily for this guy, we are going to throw him back where he belongs. Guys, we need to teach these fish a fat lesson. They're in there, they're, they're nesting or they're feeding or they're doing something. I don't know, bro, but they're flared up. They're doing something, guys. They know what they're doing. They are. Thank you so much for watching this crazy extreme episode. As you saw, we just cooked this tegu. And that thing was pretty crazy, man. We got the whole squad out here. We got the peacock bass. We got the CNL. Got the. Dylan over here shirtless Dylan because every time you see him he ain't got no shirt on. Yeah, no shirt. man in the building. We got Jay Zo and we got our homeboy Amrit. <laughs> so yo, thanks so much for watching this. Really appreciate it. And hey, if you haven't tried Tegu before, if you want to try it, comment down below. We just might invite you over.